Okay, so a common problem is that the Chia uh, GUI sometimes won't let you either sync or even log in initially when you start the application. So that is because the network right now is having a hard time uh, having everybody synchronized because of the too many requests and because some people, the majority of us users, uh, have not opened the port 8444 inside our router. Uh, so what is happening is that the application will try a UPnP request to the router and trying to open the port for itself. Issue is the protocol UPnP is not really efficient. So sometimes the request goes through, other times it doesn't. So what we can how we can help? We can port forward our Chia port, which is 8444. How do we do it? We go inside the router, um, admin, basically a web page. We go inside the port forwarding uh, section and we add a role. Now, in my case, this is uh, the name of the role, we can call it Chia port, whatever you prefer. We add TCP and UDP requests. The external port is gonna be 8444 and the internal the same. Now the IP address requested is the one of the, your client machine. So your, your Chia, um, where your Chia GUI is running basically. So we go to the command prompt, we go with if config, oops, that's actually for Linux, ep config on, on Windows, and then we scroll down where we have a usable EPV4 address. This is your local address, not the outside one that you have on your router. So we take the last two digits, in our case, because it's already been filled, and we write them down here. We add the rule, as it did here, and here it is. Now, um, this will absolutely help, but we can also add, uh, um, to relieve a little bit of strain from the network, we can add different nodes, to our page here, which is the full node, and then we scroll down connections. We click on connect to other peers. We add the IP address of other nodes. I'm gonna leave them in the description. And again, we, we write the port we just opened here. We click connect, we'll wait for it to finish spinning. Um, if it doesn't, if it finishes to spin, but leaves you on the same window, you click connect again, it will uh, probably go through the request, and the IP address will pop up on here at the bottom of the page. And that's it. By doing this, you're gonna help uh, both the network, so everybody else, and yourself as well, because the syncing will probably go way faster.